You know, the soil erosion thing that we had this spring really bothered me. We had a dry spring, dry winter, so there was a lot of black dirt moving, and it just come from the tillage, the fine tillage that was done. I probably changed a little bit where I'm standing in some pigeon grass and some volunteer corn. Three years ago, that wouldn't have happened. You know, that had been manicured, mowed, and weed-eated. Or now, not hurting me, <laughs> you know. This grassland was put into it because probably one in six years it has a flood and would destroy everything. There was probably 30 acres, 40 acres in that quarter that would flood but it wouldn't be enough destroyed to get any uh, crop insurance benefit out of it. So in turn partitioned them fields off and parted them out and now they have become permanent grasslands where the canary grass will survive six, um, six weeks underwater. So after the flood, the flood goes off, I have the grass, the grass has been fertilized by the flood water, and I get a crop without any inputs. After the flood, you can wait about 10 days and then you usually work your land as normal. You know, since I've been farming, you know, even when my, with my dad, when, you know, in 75, when I can kind of remember what things were happening on the farm that, you know, we get wet, we get dry, we get hot, we get cold, we get everything. Whether there's complete thaw going on or anything different, I don't know. Don't know what a normal year is or should be considered. Hey, the only land we have is what's left. We're producing no more. We need to treat what we got and keep it. We're the ones that changed everything. That Mother Nature does not want anything black. You leave this gravel alone for a couple of years and then there'll be something growing green all over there. You know, all these bald spots, there'll be something green there. She'll have something in there. So why can't we put something that'll give us an advantage?